morning. Good morning. This is a bit more mellow than the previous speech, I think. It's a fairy tale. It's a fuzzy, fuzzy fairy tale of a cat named Lily Brown. A long, long time ago, I decided to raise cats. And I had had an Abyssinian, I've had Burmese, I've had Siamese, and wonderful alley cats. But my favorite of all was a Burmese cat. And so I thought, I'll raise Burmese cats. When Burmese are brown and their, their fur is silky and they have giant golden eyes. I called looking for a good cat to reproduce because I wanted to take her to her championship and have wonderful kittens. And when I called, there was a problem. People were suspicious. Well, who are you? Well, why would you want to do this? Blah, blah. I was willing to pay lots of money. You know, I'm a good person. You could come and check out my house for litter box. They were nasty to me on the phone. Finally, someone was honest with me. And I found out that the Burmese cat people who, who raise kittens, catteries, had divided into two parts. One, they were, they were breeding these uh, Burmese cats for giant golden eyes. And in the process, the breeders had divided into two parts. One was the breeders who just wanted giant golden eyes, so they would maybe have five kittens, and four of those five kittens would have a break in their cranium because they were breeding them for such wide faces. And they would dispose of four, keep the good one. Then there were the traditional breeders who despised this practice. And so they were trying to figure out over the phone who, who I was. And I didn't know any of this. When I found out, I despised it. I go, forget it, not going to go there. So then I thought, well, I'll find another cat somewhere. And I did. I found a breed called Havana Browns, which according to Google today, there are probably only 100 in the entire country. They're named for the Havana Brown cigar, because their color. Instead of golden eyes, they have bright green eyes. So I found a cattery. I got one of the best kittens I could find, and I decided to take, well, I named the cat, <coughs> Lily Brown. I like the irony of Lily and Brown. And I took her across the South to get her championship, which was hard because she was a minority breed and therefore the judges didn't know whether she was good, bad, or indifferent. But I did get that. And she was quite beautiful. I found out you put vanilla on their noses so they don't smell the ma males. Cat breeders are a strange group of people. And yes, you can make cats like to be bathed. From a kitten on, I bathed her. And she, she thought it was pretty good. And I was her attendant. She was a princess. She was a model with a sleek, beautiful body and these gorgeous green eyes. She grew up in my teenage son's bedroom with Coke cans and crust pizzas and smelly socks, and the only person she liked was my teenage son. <laughs> Outside of that, she, she just liked to be admired. <laughs> and she was a pretty cold little cat, too. She was a cool, cold cat. And so I start thinking, should we breed only for beauty? Should we breed also for temperament? And this cat is not a nice cat. Jonathan thought she was a nice cat. He was the only person in the world. So, anyway, meantime, Lily Brown, who has lived the life of luxury, who I have catered to, fed special food to, bathed, brushed, loved, petted, and she's still such a snob. She is still such a snob. Well, she never been out of the house. And one day, she looked out the window. She didn't have vanilla on her nose at this time, I would say. She had come of age, cattery, sexually. 
she, had, she looked out the window and she sees this big black tomcat running through the yard. And this big black tomcat keeps on showing off his self, self and kinking his tail and running back and forth in front of the window. So what did she do? What many teenage women, girls do in the night, she sneaked out. She sneaked out the door. She fell in love with this big black Tom cat. And she escaped her life of luxury. Like, like a princess or She, she, was, she was contained by her very beauty and her very luxury, and she wanted the wild side. <laughs> she was dying to have the wild side. And this big black tomcat represented that. But when I found out this valuable, valuable cat, I'd spent lots of money and time getting her, her advanced degrees. <laughs> I decided to try to recapture her, and so I would go out and put fish, her favorite foods, whatever. But she and the big black tomcat just would run through the yard. Here, kitty, kitty. No, nope. I'm with him. <laughs> I am with him. There is no amount of fish or food or luxury or petting that will ever bring me back. And that is the story of Lily Brown the cat. I, I never saw them again. After a while they disappeared, but my assumption is, as in all fairy tales, fuzzy or otherwise, that they lived happily.